Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a US haul. I'm hoping to do it in one take so I can just upload it straight onto YouTube. Because as you can tell, I am currently not at home. I am currently at my parents' place. And I have no way of editing my videos. So, anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to do them in the order of where I went when I was in the US. Um, and just before I start, there are a couple more USA vlogs coming, but they're going to be late because as I said, I have no way of editing them. I didn't get time to do it while I was in the US. So they're coming, but they yeah, It'll be a couple of weeks by the time I actually get home and edit them because I'm staying at my parents for a while. Anyway, first place I went to and bought stuff was the Art Museum, the Sunken Cities exhibit. So first, so first off, I got this little statue. Should I wrap this before I started? So it looks like that. Nice green color. Um, have no idea what it says. I just, I just like the look of it, basically. And I believe this was twenty-five dollars plus tax. I believe. Yes, twenty five dollars plus tax. So that's first. Then the other thing I got at Sunken Seas, which was which was I believe was two bucks. It was three dollars. Three dollars including tax was this. Has a little bit of a holographic look to it. I'm not sure if that's showing on camera or not. Hopefully you can see that. And that was three dollars including tax. All prices in the US, if you don't know, include tax, it's a bit more of what they say, so, and the tax fluctuates. So I'm just giving you the price of what would be, plus a few extra dollars for tax. Second place we went was the St. Louis Arch. Interesting fact, the St. Louis Arch is the tallest structure in St. Louis, and there's a statement that no structure can be taller. So I got some... Of course, it's a version. Now, these are fake. These are photoshopped. You don't. You can actually get a picture like that in front of the arch. But yeah. and those ones as well. was around twenty dollars including tax as well I believe. So that. Also in the Cape Bay Arch I got this jumper which I really like the colour of actually it's a, I think it's a very nice jumper. So it's just the colour it says it says Gateway Arch St. Louis on it. It's not the warmest thing in the world but it's a nice jumper. I I really like the colour of that one. Next thing, place we went where I bought stuff was a baseball game. Now this was actually, f this I didn't actually buy anything, but they were giving out free shirts, and this was free. So it's just a white tee says it says STL on the front of it. On the back is this player. I have no idea who that is, but I did take note on my phone. His name is Bob Gibson. He was one of one of the greatest pitchers ever. So that's who that is. If you're American and you play baseball, you probably know it, but I'm not, so I had no idea who it was. So I got that the baseball game. Next place I went to where I bought stuff was the was uh, Six Flags. I believe, yes, Six Flags. So first of all, I got uh, Tweety Bird. I believe this was 25, no, maybe 35, because it was quite big, including tax, so it was quite expensive, but 
and it's actually very soft. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's Tweety Bird. We just love the new tunes. It's very soft. So I got that. So I got that from there. I also got two shirts. I got that one first with the Batman logo for myself. From Six Flags. If you don't know, Six Flags has kind of a deal with Looney Tunes and DC Comics. So I got that Batman shirt. I also got another Batman shirt. This one was my gift for my dad, which looks like that. So that one was for my dad, which he's already worn once. And he seems to like it. And that's it. That's it for Six Flags. and buy a lot of stuff. I was more going to do things than to buy stuff. Uh, next up is the zoo. Um, I think. Yes, next up is the zoo. Where I bought this t shirt for myself. Just a plain red t shirt, St. Louis Zoo. Yeah, I'm, red's my favourite colour, so that's why I got that one for myself. I also got this one. For my mum, I don't. Um, I have worn pink in the past, and I do tend to not wear pink though. So I got that shirt for my mum, which again just says just says simple as silver, which is a rhino. Your favourite animal is not rhino, but um, all the shirts I think all the shirts I believe are the same price at twenty five dollars, including tax. So the part. So all the shirts are about that price. Oh, and also for my mum, I got this little, this little dude, little pink penguin, who she's named Poppy. Yes, Poppy the penguin. All right. Next place went to. I went to a few places, didn't get, actually get much. Oh, wait, hang on, no, sorry. I apologise, still some things from the zoo, yep. Yeah. So, a little magnet with zebras on it. Um, I got. Two of these. Um, my dad has taken that one, which is an elephant. I think he's taken that one. He took one of them, I'm not sure which one. Um, I think he appreciated this one. And Josh, if you're watching this, I think you're watching my videos, this is your present. Just a rhino key ring. I know it's nothing much, but as you've said, you're not easy to buy presents for. So that is for my best friend, Josh. If you know Josh's, uh, go back and check best friend tag. He's in that. Um, also got this Nicholas. Um, I'm not going to say who this is for in the video. Um, I, but all I will, but I will say it is. Um, I will say it's for a girl though. I don't want to say who in the video. So it's a little sequin giraffe type thing. I went to is I went away no before I went away a couple of years before I went away Zach gave me an old pair of jeans of his so these are not new but they are new to me they were too uh, small for him so I uh, apologise they are dirty I wore them I wore them yesterday or the day before so they're a little bit dirty but, um, yeah so they're not brand new they've got some rips in them but they didn't fit Zach, so Zach said he wouldn't really have them, so I thought, for, yeah, okay, why not? I wear jeans all the time, so, yeah. Okay, then I went away for the weekend to Zach's parents' place, and I didn't buy anything there, but they gave me some things. They had a whole bunch of books, they were trying 
try to get rid of. So I said, yeah, I'll take some. So I got the making of Jurassic Park. It's very interesting. Had a, had a quick flick through it. It's got like sketch. It's got like sketches at the back and yeah, it's. I think like through it. Some of it's interesting. Some of it's like you know boring, but yeah, making a Jurassic Park. Next one I got. Awkward Christian situations. Very funny. I've, st I've read about half this already. It's pretty funny. The Outreach Committee has enlisted 25 volunteers to make calls on people who are not afflicted with any church. Affili affiliated. No, afflicted. Yes. Mistakes. Come on, Zillow. Pastor Steve will present his last sermon on Sunday. Do you want to do no. I think just... Silly things that Christians have written or said. Excellent. That one. And this one. Irish Red. Apparently it's a series of books. Um, another great red story by the author of Big Red and Outlaw Red. To, to drama about a boy and a dog and a dad hates a dog. Yeah. Haven't read yet, but. Interesting. Also, while I was with the kid, I shot the gun. Um. Yeah, the book, as I said, the books were free. I also shot a gun and I took a little casing. You can see that. It's a casing from one of the bullets I shot. I think I should take that as a souvenir. Alright. And then I didn't buy anything for a few days. And then we went to Walmart. And since I love the baseball game so much, even went to, I went to a second one. And then next day I went to Walmart and bought a St. Louis Cardinals baseball shirt. So it just has a little Cardinals logo up in the top there. Um, and yeah, and red and red and white are their colours, even this is red and grey. I wanted to get a white one, like what they were on the field, but because it's what they were on the field they were like fifty bucks. Whereas this was only 13. So, yeah. And that was from Walmart. Also from Walmart, on the same day, a pair of fongs. The fongs I had over there, um, so this bit came out of the bottom on both of them. So I was like, okay, I'll chop these out and get a new pair. So, I'm not entirely happy with this pier, I don't, not the best design or colour, but they were, but again, they were cheap from Walmart and they were five bucks. And I needed a pair of folds for the last couple of years, so I got them. Because the other ones broke. Alright, nearly there. On, on the way back, I stopped by a souvenir shop and got myself a little key ring, which looks that it's got the arch and stuff on it just the like queuing because i didn't have one the queuing used to be that but nothing else i've got that as well um that's it for the other day but when i on the way back to my parents place from the airport i stopped buying all some stuff while i was away the cord that i used to transfer the footage from this camera to the computer zach's dog got no reason why I couldn't edit anymore the footage before I left. So, from JV Hi Fi, USB to micro USB. I don't think that's right actually. I'm not sure. I'll take it back as well. Anyway, I think they said it was the one. I told them before I'd take GoPro camera and they said it's the one. So it was 20 bucks from JV Hi Fi just to, just to leave. So I can. Um, upload the videos and edit them. And then I, bought some, then I went to CEX, this team exchange, bought a few games and stuff from there. Um, first off, I bought Never Ending Story for two dollars. I bought a zombie apocalypse movie called Google All the Gifts, that was fifteen. I bought um, uh, Kong, the new King Kong Skull Island movie. 
um, on, I think it's a Blu-ray, I think. No, this is Ultra HD. I'm trying to play Ultra HD some. So you can play Ultra HD, so you a 4K TV, Ultra HD Blu-ray player. I thought it was just Blu-ray, because it's in the Blu-ray section. I bought a color scale for ten dollars. Not sure if it'll work yet. Oh, find out. Um, I've got Rush Hour three. I think I own Rush Hour one and two already. Um, so I got Rush Hour three, two dollars fifty. And occasionally, not often, but occasionally, I like to watch the odd extreme sport. So I got. Um, it's called Drift, a new race. It's BMX and dirt bikes. Right across stuff for five dollars. And then I got two games. I got, I think I've played this in the past, but I don't think I own it anymore. So I got Driver San Francisco. That uh, was pre owned, so it was sixteen dollars. And this game I bought, I wasn't going to buy because it looks, it doesn't look that good. But I do like, but if you know me at all, I don't play a lot of violent games. I tend to play tycoon games. I love Rollercoaster Tycoon. Um, I love City Skylines. I love Zoo Tycoon. All that kind of thing. I love all that. Um, and I figured it's only five bucks, so I got Inline Tycoon. It looks a bit childish on the back, but it was five bucks, so I figured they would make it to five bucks. Um. Yes, yeah, so that's it. Oh, I also got a map, zoo, as a souvenir. So, didn't get a map at the park. Didn't give, didn't get out maps at the Six Flags theme park. So, didn't. Yeah. Anyway, as I said, there are uh, still two more USA vlogs to come. Uh, the weekend we have the farm, which has me shooting my first gun, riding a quad bike, and a little bit of horse riding. I didn't film much of the horse riding because I've already put up a horse riding vlog a couple of, a month or two ago, I think it was. So I figured you need to see that again. If you haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel, go back and check it out. Um, I'm going to like this 